Hi guys, so today I have a product review for you. So these are DIY hard nails, but they're pronounced die hard nails. Um, this is a professional grade gel polish that can last up to two weeks when applied correctly. Um, the owner of the company, Natasha, was nice enough to send me five colors plus the base coat and the top coat to try out for you guys. Um, she also has a wide range of colors including color changing which is what I have here to show you today. She also has solid colors and shimmering and glitter toppers. I'll give you... I'll give you the links to everything down below so you guys can check that out. The gel polishes themselves come with a 30 day money back guarantee. You also get a free ebook with each purchase, Nail Salon Secrets for the Perfect at Home Manicure. So it's basically a step by step on how to achieve a manicure that will last the full two weeks. So this is a relatively new company, Natasha started it in May 2014. Mm -hmm. Basically she created out of necessity. She's a mother of three boys and she was tired of her polish chipping. She, she was looking for a professional grade gel polish that wouldn't break the bank and she also wanted something with fun and unique colors that she could play around with. Um, she ended up creating this for herself and her friends had ended up liking it so much that she ended up starting to sell it and that's where she's at now. Like I said, I'll have additional information in the down bar for you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and get into the actual demonstration here. So as I said before, Natasha was nice enough to send me five gel polishes and I'm going to show you each one of those individually. I have a bowl here of hot water and then a bowl of cool water to show you the color changing. Um, so the first color is this one here and this is pink frost and this is actually the color that I'm wearing on my fingertip here. And here's the swatch that I did for that. So when you put it in warm water, it turns white and sparkly. And then when you submerge it in the cool water, it turns pink. And it's a very pretty kind of fuchsia pink. And you can see that it has glitter in there, really fine glitter, larger glitter dots, and kind of a mica looking. And then again, it warms up with the heat of your finger. And like I said, that's the one I'm wearing on my fingers. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. And at the end of the video, I'll actually show me applying this to my fingers so you guys can get a sense for the texture of the polish itself and how it applies. The next color is called Classic Galaxy. And here's what it looks like. And you can see here's the swatch. When you submerge it into the warm water, it turns into a really pretty blue. And again, it has the glitter in it. And then when cold, it turns into a really pretty purple. The next color is Pink Galaxy. And that's what that one looks like. It's a very pretty purple tone. When you put it in warm water, it turns pink. And then back into the cool and it turns purple. The next color is called Coca-Cola Float. That's what that one looks like. Beautiful chocolate brown. Again with glitter in it. It turns white when it's warm. And brown when it's cool. On my, the last color is Heartbreaker, which I'm actually wearing on my ring finger here. When you open it up, it's a black polish. When you put it in the warm water, it turns pink. And then when in the cold, it turns black. So again, I'll show you the colors.
Pink Frost, Classic Galaxy, Pink Galaxy, Coca-Cola Float, and Heartbreaker. So I'll go ahead and cut to the video clip of me applying the actual polish. I just wanted to say real quick that I've had this on for about three days now. And you can see there's no chipping at all. Nothing's come up and it applied really well. I did three, I did three really thin coats of each color. And you can see they came out opaque. Of course you can build it up as much as you want or as little. Um, I also used the base coat and top coat and both worked really well. The other thing I will note is there's no funny smell to these. I know sometimes gel polishes have a really strong odor to them. These ones have a very very mild um, scent to it. So if that's something that you're worried about or concerned about. If you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down below and as always thank you for watching.